create an AR overlay using CoSpaces and MergeCube. To create this project, you do need the CoSpaces Pro version and the MergeCube add-on. To get started, click this icon and then go to Create Space. Because we're designing for the MergeCube, you'll want to click MergeCube Space. Now, in order to edit the Merge Cube, the first thing you need to do is create a slide that can be uploaded down here and then added to the top of the Merge Cube. So to do that, I typically start with Google Slides. And in Google Slides, I like to make a 5 by 5 slide with the information on it that I want. So you can see I've already created it here. When I'm ready and I've finished what I want, I select File, Download As, JPEG and that downloads that file as a JPEG file so that I can upload it into CoSpaces. So back to CoSpaces I go. I'm gonna upload that file that I just downloaded. And what I like to do is drag it. You can't see it, but it's at the bottom of my screen here. I like to just drag and drop the files into CoSpaces. Now that it's here, I can attach that to the top of the Merge Cube. So to do that, we click on that. We actually right click on it and we click the word attach. Now you can see some blue spots showed up on the merge cube and I'm just gonna attach this to the top of the merge cube. It happens to be up to, upside down, so I'm gonna use this builder's panel to do some arranging. So that particular button rotates it. This one's gonna allow me to drag to expand it. And now it fits the merge cube in a way that I like. Now the next thing I did to create the merge cube that you might have seen with the red on the side was I actually edited the merge cube itself and I changed the material. So if you change the material you can customize the color and I just wanted to go with kind of a bright red color. Now in order to use this as an overlay or an AR overlay for the graphic novel, what I had to do is I had to upload some GIF files that were animated and it was a little bit tricky trying to get them lined up. So there was a lot of testing and checking against my graphic novel to make sure that when I looked at this through my phone or through my iPad, that things were lined up perfectly. For the sake of the tutorial here, I'm just gonna show how I uploaded items and attached them to the side of the merge cube. So what I looked for when I searched was I looked for transparent GIF arrows. So I did a Google search for arrows that were transparent. So this happens to be a website that has a transparent. So we do have to right click and save this image. And in the same way that we uploaded this image file, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna upload that colorful arrow. So it's currently not oriented in the way that I would like. So I'm gonna rotate this around a little bit. I'm gonna rotate it this way so that I can have it sort of aim to where I think a speech bubble might be. So we're gonna enlarge this a bit and we're gonna sort of push it into position. So a lot of building when it, com when it comes to the Merge Cube does involve uh, using multiple perspectives. So you really do have to kind of rotate around and make sure it's sitting on the side of the Merge Cube that you like. But for the overlay, you're definitely looking at it from a top-down approach. So you sort of want to get it in position and then double check from the side that it's sitting kind of where you want it. So we're going to sort of pretend that when I look at this in AR, that there's a speech bubble right about over here that it's pointing at. So we're gonna code this arrow. So the first thing you have to do when you're coding is you have to um, select code and you have to toggle the switch on. And then when you're coding, you go to this upper right hand corner, which means we're gonna be using code blocks. So it tells us when play is clipped. We need something to happen when the merge cube opens. So the event that's gonna take place is when the colorful arrow is clicked. That means when the merge cube is triggered, if someone clicks on this arrow, something will happen. And the action that I want to happen is down here. It's this big panel. We want this info panel to show up above the colorful arrow when it's clicked. The title, we'll just call this title. And then the text that's gonna appear beneath, beneath that title would be Okay, so now we've told us that when the merge cube is activated over here when play is clicked and then when the colorful arrow is clicked on the screen, the title will show up with speech bubble and you'll get some text. So of course we're going to want to test that out. So we'll test it out here in CoSpaces rather than in AR on the merge cube. We're going to click play and if I click this arrow, there it is. That's what we coded. 
So let's do one more only because it's important to see that you have to select the item that you're coding. I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to upload one more arrow. Okay, we're going to drag that down here and let's pretend that we're trying to point to something up here. Now we're going to code that arrow. That arrow has a different name. If I right click on it, you can see it's called left arrow, but I also have to turn it on so that I can use it in code blocks. Okay, so if I go back over here to code, okay, the colorful arrow is coded here and here, but I have a different arrow, so I have to do a whole new set of code. So when, put that in place, a little drop list here, so when the left arrow is clicked, we'll go back to actions, we'll pull this panel into here. When the left arrow 15, same thing, is clicked, it's going to show new information. So we can pretend that this is pointing to perhaps the gutter in an interactive notebook. tutorial on how you can um, edit the code in Coast Spaces for the Merge Cube. Good luck!